How's it going guys? Neo Gino and I just got back from uh, RetroCon down in Philly in Oaks PA. It's mainly a toy show and uh, this is all I brought back. <laughs> back um start off small i picked this up off someone for a dollar it's a little tiny gizmo love gremlins love this shit so i picked that up uh i did pick up a huge huge lot of uh street shark stuff which as you know is something i'm definitely into and i like it a lot um and uh most of all these figures are complete they are doubles of some that i have so i will be probably selling off my other ones because these are not complete i don't really need the other ones but uh Let's get into it. First, I'm going to start with some of the vehicles I got. This is the Street Shark 4x4. And uh, it's missing some of the pieces, but I will complete it eventually. It has all the blades and the wheels, so I'll eventually get a complete one to start with. Next, I got this. This is, well, it's missing one missile right now. This is the uh, Arcade Street Tank, and um, I could be wrong on some of these names, don't hold me to them, but it's missing the one missile, the other guy has it for me, he's going to mail it to me, and uh, this is 100% there besides that one missile that's missing, and they go in here, I open it without breaking things, this is where the missiles will sit, and that's where they sit when the tank is not fully put together. So, all here, little thing there, little flip up here, yay, fucking love this shit, why can't they make toys like this, oh yeah, we don't have toy stores anymore, because people don't buy toys, this is back when toys were awesome, I don't care what anyone says, I'll still buy the shit. Uh, I also got, this is a Jabber Transformer vehicle thing, kind of, very odd, different, I think this was like Series 4 or 3, I could be wrong, but it transformed into a car, basically, the car form I'm assuming, and uh, if not, transform into Jabber. neat I also got car wise this is a ripster bike and that's what it is and when this goes it moves this when it's going down the road it moves his head up and down and his arm is free flowing that is the ripster bike and that is just about all the vehicles that I got uh, I only got a couple games, so let's go into the games. I did pick up this Donkey Kong Game & Watch Tabletop. Um, paid a really good price on this, actually. Um, so I'm happy to add this to my collection. Um, and surprising, all the LEDs work in it, too, which is very uncommon. I also got a complete in-box Vetrix game that I didn't have. And that was Berserk. So, definitely like picking these up when I see them. Definitely uncommon things. Most people don't don't go after them anymore. But uh, I still like it. I also got Gauntlet Legends, a box. Um, needed this. Uh, it's complete. I also got these. Sorry, everything's all over the place. I'm trying to get ready for the next con too here, so... I got Rocco, Modern Life, Spunky's Dangerous Day. A very nice cart. Uh, I actually want to check all these out. I also got Kendo, Kendo Rage, Kendo Rage. Gonna check all these out, like I said. And I also got The Mask. Very interested in checking these out. Um, Supposedly they're not bad games, so. And I believe that that's actually all the uh, games I got, yeah. Uh, there wasn't really much there. Uh, 
Oh, sorry, I did have one other thing. Jeez. Almost forgot about this. This is the manual for a year Kung Fu, an arcade board. My boy Mike, the game doctor, bought it for me, actually. And uh, he's been holding on to this for me for a while. He found it in a yard sale. And um, you know, definitely try it out, see if it works, see how it is. Um, so thanks, Mike. And uh, definitely be trying this out later tonight, maybe tomorrow. All depends on how much I get done for this weekend. Because this weekend I am going to a game swap meet in Philly. And that is right now my number one concern. To have everything ready for that. Uh, but yeah, that is literally all the games that I brought back. Uh, not really much there. There's more toys. I mean, there was games there to buy to resell. Um, some vendors didn't know what they had. I did that, but... Definitely not that much for me to put in my personal collection. But as for toy-wise, tons. I did find a guy there actually selling magic cards as well. And I picked up uh, a couple cards. Like, he had uh, he had two boxes of rares and foils. Uh, I bought both boxes. Um, in the first box, all I saw was these two cards right here. And they are Food Chain. Well, you can't really see it. There you go. Food chain. I bought both of them. Um, privileged position. I'm not going to show off a lot of these, but I mean, he had tons and tons of foil, um, invasion lands, just everything. Tons of stuff. And this is just some of the good stuff. Food chain. Uh, uh, doubling cube, original set, patent negation, probe, foil, um, <laughs> foil heuristic study. Sucks. One of these days I'm going to buy an actual camera, make it so much easier, so you can actually see better. But yeah, he had a ton of stuff, and I picked all that up. Super low price, super low price. Uh, easiest way to get low prices is lump everything there together. I also picked up from the booth uh, across from me. Uh, I like I like evil guys, and I picked up a Krang. Krang in his little tiny uh, walker here, so that's cool for me. Uh, the booth next to me, I actually helped them out uh, working with their square square reader. They gave me this. We did a trade, and I got Guruk for Magic, the wild speaker. So. That's cool. And the table next to me, my boy Mike and his wife were there. I got a little tiny spiny because I didn't have spiny. So I'm going to open this up and put it over here. Uh, one vendor there, I had I was talking to, I did a deal with him the day beforehand for something stupidly crazy. I was talking to him, I told him I'm into Marilyn Manson stuff. And uh, he had some of it and he brought me some. So now I have the Marilyn Manson official collector's edition mask. For all the weird, weird people out there. I also picked up this figure, the beautiful people. Uh, I love this shit. This is, like, there's nothing better than this in my opinion. Because you're just never going to get it. And I also picked up this one as well. Um, the beautiful people. This is the stone version. Uh, of the same figure I just had and shitty ass phone one of these days I'm actually gonna invest in this but I don't do this to make money so we'll see if that actually does happen <laughs> and now next is my haul and uh, it's pretty exclusive uh, I'm super fucking pumped about it uh, a lot of things I said, you know, I would never get, and uh, just so happens I was completely wrong on that, so you never know. Never make assumptions, I guess. And just start out with that right now. I picked up uh, another Slamu, Boxing Slamu, as we all know. This one's super, all these are super nice. But he has the mouth guard, which I said in my last video that I would probably never get the mouth guard. 
and now I have the damn mouth guard it goes in there just like that and super pumped to have this um, yeah like I said literally last video I said I'll probably never get a mouth guard for that because people want crazy amounts I picked up another um, Moby Lick except he's got his hat I love this figure so much just because the tongue the tongue the tongue Lick you. And uh, he has a hat on his blowhole. Moby Lick. Uh, I can't remember this guy. I think his name is Bent. Radical Bent figure complete. And this comes up. You pull on this and everything moves. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Put that back up in there. But uh, he was a uh, guy that always helped out the Street Sharks. Back in the uh, TV series, I got this Jabber. 100% complete. I think it's like Driller Jabber. I can't remember, but he has his eye, little eye things here that come off and on. Just going off. Little gun. Backpack. Um... If I'm wrong on these names, I'm sorry. I can't remember them all. Uh, I got Ro uh, Rocks, which is another one that I already have. Super nice hair, but he has his guitar. His hair moves around too. And I have his mic as well. So now he could rock out all the time. Play with my little Barbie doll hair here. Um... Finding these with all these pieces is like super, super uncommon. Just gonna let remind people of that. Got ri ripping or ripster punching. This is an awesome figure because of that. Love this. Fucking smash your fucking face in. Ripster's the man. I also got Dr. Pranoid. I think this is Manus Pranoid. Uh, I believe it's Manus. Could be wrong on that. Just flip up helmet. Down. All the way around. I got... Shit. I can't remember the name of this guy now. But I have another one. It's definitely not Driller. I can't remember the name. It's slipping my mind. Jesus Christ. Well, I, have an, I have an extra one of him now. Um, I got calamari here, complete, with both his sides that go in his mouth. There's a little mouth there. Yarrr! All of his feet. Um, I got slobster, with both his tentacles. Nothing like a lobster. How about a slobster? I also got Dr. Pranoid with the missile. And he still does his little uh, rotating head. And his missile. Got the missile. That's super hard to find. And there it goes. And now it's gone. I got Reptile complete with all three missiles, one in each arm, then the one in his head, gone, and then he can just pull the ones out of his arms, and throw them in, and you can shoot them as well. No, no maybe not. Oh, huh. well, they're in his arms. But, Reptile? God, I can't believe I can't remember his name. I feel like an asshole now. I also got um, t -t 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 blades with his sunglasses. That's super uncommon. Reach out and get ya. You got the uh, art. They come out. But, yep. There's actually another one there, but he was actually missing his roller skate, so I didn't buy it. Uh, just too, too, too beat up for me. Got another blades with his uh, hockey stick and uh, with this little helmet on. Like I said, these are super, super nice. 
in the point where they have, if not all, almost all the stuff to it. This one's super rare, supposedly. Uh, another blades with literally everything. The gun, uh, the shoots, all the uh, fire this baby off here. There it is. Oh, there it goes. And it's gone now. It's lost forever. But uh, he's got his glasses on. His glasses come off. This comes off. Um, this whole underneath comes off. These side pieces come off. Super hard to find this complete. Um, I got this as well. Super rare. Uh, pool shark ripster. Super, super nice. Um, just really, really nice. Very un. Pretty uncommon, like I said, to find these all complete with all the parts. I also picked up this metal shark with all the parts as well. I already have one of these, but I didn't have the side fin arm things. I didn't have um, uh, literally this, the uh, piece that they were trying to hide it from. And I didn't have the eyes on the inside. So yeah, super, like I said, some of these things you're just not going to find normally. And I definitely hit the jackpot here. Can't be lucky all the times, but sometimes you can get lucky. I also <laughs> got Manta Man. With this little boomerang. It doesn't really do much, but definitely cool as shit. And I got a new Street Sharks Ripster watch, LCD watch, brand new in packaging. Because why the hell not? I also picked up Jabber Hand Puppet. Um, I have bags in them right now to keep them fresh, but these things are really, really nice shape. Really tough. Super stiff arms. Um, I, I fucking love these things. And I also got a Strex hand puppet as well. Rawr. Jawsome. Super stiff. And this leads me to the big pickup. And this was something I saw sitting on a table and I couldn't fucking believe it was there. And the second I saw it, I knew I had to have it. And uh, let me give you a hint, it comes in a box like this. And um, this is the box, the original box that it came in. Uh, super, 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 super pumped to have this. This is my prize and joy. And it is. This is the mail, the 12 inch mail away ripster that makes noise and sound and it is in immaculate shape and it's still it's very hard to move but his mouth does move. He still talks. And um, this is super hard to find, especially in the condition. Came with the box, a uh, little manual thing on the outside box here. And this is like the holy grail of street shark stuff. Unless you go into like muscle mutts, which is just as hard to find. But this, in this condition, is a steal. And uh, yeah, RetroCon was great. Uh, I obviously picked up a lot of awesome stuff, and uh, I'm so glad to have all this stuff in my collection now. Like I said, a lot of it I didn't think I would even get, and uh, it's just, I'm fucking pumped. Like, <laughs> this stuff was like my childhood. Like, sh this is the, the childhood stuff I never got to have. Like, and uh, well, now I own it, because that's the point of being an adult. Now you can get things you wanted as a kid. And, um, yeah. 
Like I said, I'm doing a con this weekend. It's a little uh, game swap meet down in uh, Montgomery County, PA, hosted by Too Many Games. Um, Saturday from 10 to 5. Uh, hope to see you guys all there. And remember, keep smashing the buttons, and I'm going to play with some of my toys. See yous.